It's gonna be so cheesy, like this video. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> So today we are playing Aussies Try Each Other's Cheese Toasties. What makes a good cheese toasty? I feel like um, lots of cheese. And the cheese is nicely melted. And that's pretty much it. You just can't really beat like a crunchy, like <laughs> cheese toasty with like oozy cheese. And you know, just hints of other flavors that don't overpower the cheese because you know, the cheese is the most important. Thing. So basically, we are going to be trying each other's cheese toasties. We're allowed to use whatever bread, whatever fillings, whatever other stuff you add to your cheese toasty to make it. And then we're gonna rate each other's out of 10. Bring it. So this is how I make my cheese toasty. You get some bread, you get two slices of cheese, you get some ham, you wanna add a few thin slices of tomato, you put the top of the bread on, you butter the top and bottom outsides of the bread, then you put it in the toasty maker till the cheese is nice and melted, cut it into triangles, and then you're done. You got a beautiful, yummy toasty. Ham, cheese, and tomato to toasty. Look at that, stunning. I think this is like the ultimate toasty in my eyes. Yeah, it's good. It's just a, it's just a classic combo. It all goes together so perfectly. Mm! <laughs> oh, what hot buffalo. Yum. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is just perfect. Like you can't get better than a ham, cheese and tomato toasty. You can almost taste this when you look at it, like when you know what it is, it's just, Basic ham, basic tomato, basic cheese, but it's not trash. So I feel like this is gonna get a five out of 10. An eight. It's pretty bloody good. I'm gonna give it a nine. If it had salami, that would be 10, cause you know, a boy loves some deli meats. This is the next best thing, yum. So this is how I make my bougie cheese toasty. <laughs> Just burped. <laughs> First, you've got to get the relish and put it on the bread, like both sides of the bread, nom nom nom. Then you get some goat's cheese, you chuck it on either side as well, you put it together, you put butter on the outside, cook it in a pan until it's like nice and crispy and golden. Cut it in half, <sighs> crunch that bad boy. All right, so this toasty, I'm not gonna lie, it has me very excited because I love goat's cheese, but not in this context. I feel like I've never had it in this context. Like I always have goat's cheese on a cheese board with crackers, but this with relish, like I feel like this is either gonna be my new favorite thing or I'm gonna hate it. Um, I've never had goat's cheese, so I don't really know what I'm expecting. The other thing I feel like about this, even though the ingredients being like relish and goat's cheese is like super like, bougie and adult. I, I'm just kind of like, where is the standard cheese? Um, look at that. Ugh. It doesn't look good, you know? It doesn't look... It doesn't scream cheese toasty to me. It, and do you even toast ghost cheese? Like, I don't know if that's a thing you should do. So the instructions said for me to cook this on a pan, which I rejected because I was like, I'm not doing that. I'm not out here trying to cook up a storm. I'm trying to make a cheese toasty to get in my belly ASAP. Let's crack in and have a taste. It's not good. Like, I feel like I'd be sick if I ate that whole sandwich. And I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of this one. <laughs> I, no. <laughs> not great, not great. Oh, I don't know about that. Like, I can taste the goat's cheese. I do love goat's cheese, but I just don't think it should be warmed up. I just don't have any, any, anything like I like about this. I can't think of one thing. I mean, I have to give, give this a zero. Like, I feel like I'm pretty nice, you know, normally, so zero, uh, yeah. That's no good, no good. Yeah, that's a two out of 10, I'm sorry. I just don't know if you can call this like a cheese toasty, but sell it at a market and you'll probably make 20 bucks a pop. A six out of 10 because the effort was there. Like there was a bit of effort to try and make it something, which I respect, but it didn't quite get there for me. Okay, wait, maybe I should change my score. Should I change my score? <laughs> maybe I'll change it to a two out of 10. <laughs> it just tastes bad. It just doesn't taste good. So for me, I love food, hella basic and super simple. So here's how I make my toasty. I start with one piece of white bread, slap on two bits of cheese, put the other piece of white bread on top, into the toasty, cook that bad boy, pull it out, 
and then tear it apart for that cheesy, gooey, melty moment. I like to keep it super simple, because I'm basic. Yeah. <laughs> Classic cheese toasty. Does was it? Does was? Does was. <laughs> does what it says on the pack, really. There's obviously a lot more you can do, but at the same time, it's got cheese and it's got toast, so it's, it fulfills the criteria. The bread isn't even fancy, it's just white. Oof, I'm not, don't show that. <laughs> There's not really anything special about this, but also if you're drunk and you can't do anything else, this is probably what you're gonna have. Alrighty, bread and cheese. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Like it actually tastes like gooey cardboard and cardboard. I reckon this is like a three out of 10. That's gonna be a one out of 10 for me. And that one point is just like the fact that it's the OG. Out of 10, I think I'll give this an eight. It's really solid. You just, you could add a little bit more, I guess. This is how I make my cheese toasty. You start with sourdough bread, butter the outside. On the inside, you've got one layer of Philly cheese and one layer of tomato paste. Then you layer sliced cheese with mozzarella, parmesan, any other cheeses you've got lying around, Italian herbs, salt, pepper, sliced tomato if you have it, sun-dried tomato if you have it, top it with a bit more sliced cheese and then toast until really golden brown and all the cheese is melted. So good. I feel like this is just whatever you have in the fridge, you just put in the sandwich. Growing up with an Italian father, I would be kicked out of the home for too many ingredients. We're all about simplicity and keeping it minimal. I also don't think tomato paste is something you should just like put on something. It's like a base of a sauce, right? This is very close to being like, not even a cheese toasty. Like this is like a sandwich, you know? But I will tell you this, it does smell like a really good pizza. Is it a good cheese toasty though? I don't know. Let's find out. The tomato paste is really dominating the whole, like the whole flavor for me. Like, is it trying to be a pizza? If I was blindfolded and someone was like, what are you eating? I wouldn't necessarily say this is a cheese toasty. The one good thing about this sandwich is the bread. Not. Not a fan of this one. I love everything that went into it. If someone made this for me, no complaints. I'm gonna eat it, yum. But as for the coveted spot of the best cheese toasty at BuzzFeed Australia, this, I'm so sorry, isn't it. So it's a five out of 10. Oh, don't hate me. I hate to say it, but this is a two. Yeah, this is gonna have to be like a two out of 10. I'm not sorry. Hey guys. Hey. Hey. So, who won? Obviously me. The winner is... Tom! Are you serious? I knew it, I knew it. Those other toasties were so, so bad. Like there was one okay one, but yeah. That's how you do a cheese toast. 